Period. Call me Diana Ross. That's what they should have named this wig. Who the heck is Game Changer? Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm back with another cheap Amazon wig review. This is the last one that I have out of all of the wigs that I bought back when I wasn't wearing wigs. This is the last one, but don't worry. I'm gonna get some more. But let's get right into it because it's gonna be pretty quick. I know how these cheap wigs go. I don't usually install them. I did install the one before the last one that I did, but I usually don't like fully install them so it doesn't take long to review. So we're just gonna jump right into it. It's gonna be a pretty quick video. So this is the wig right here. It's already outside of the um, little plastic bag it was in because I think I was gonna wear this one day and I was trying to find something to do with my hair and then I decided not to wear it. So I just left it inside of this thing but i took it out of the plastic bag so that's why it looks like this never wore it before never seen it before i haven't taken it out of this yet but anywho this is another sensational wig i know sensational has been doing their big one on this channel so far i've only done two other sensational wigs this is my third one but anywho so we got another kinky unit now the last one i did was like a kinky texture like flat iron curl type of wig i don't know what you call it but it was like you know our texture um so this is another one but this is like curly hair the other one was as if you blow dry your hair and curled it. This is like the natural curl. So this is another kinky curly wig. And this is in the style Game Changer in the color 1B. As y'all can see, this is her right here. Y'all can see what she looks like. She comes in other colors. And yeah, I just wanted me a cute little curly wig, a, more of a tighter curl pattern because my natural curl pattern is tight. So that's what made me get her. Right now on Amazon is $36. I'm trying to check and see what it was when I bought it. Probably around the same thing, but I know that Letitia wig that I did, the first one, first sensational wig I reviewed, that one just keeps going up in price every time I go back and look at it. So y'all better go ahead and get on that one because they just keep jacking up the price on it because everybody loves that one. I'm trying to hurry up my phone down. My phone is on 2%. Okay, it was $33 when I bought it. It's $36 six dollars now yeah on amazon it says it's a sensational curls kinky 4b to 4c impress lace edge wig so 4b to 4c that's around my hair texture i am a type 4 girl so i'm excited to see let's go ahead and open it all right so here is the hair net it just comes inside the hair net okay i like this and y'all know i love big hair y'all know i love me a good curly wig i love big hair this is her let me show y'all the construction is the inside so it is a t-part you can only part it right here but there's lace ear to ear but the part is only right here in the middle it's got two combs in the front a comb in the back and adjustable straps yeah i love these curls look at them mm -hmm. so first thing i'm gonna do is put some makeup on this lace and then we'll get started okay so i put it on my head and cut the lace y'all know i normally cut the lace off my head with my synthetic wig so i'm gonna just go ahead and cut it off i might cut it with my zigzag scissors y'all know i've been seeing a lot of people do the zigzag scissors thing and like everybody's just so in shock with it on TikTok, and I'm like, now y'all know when I when I started doing the um, zigzag scissors thing, I had never seen it before. I looked it up and everything. I could be wrong, but years back when I showed y'all the zigzag scissors thing, and I was like, why don't people just use zigzag scissors? If everybody talking about, oh, you got to cut in a zigzag. Why don't you use zigzag scissors? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? That was some years ago, and like now it's like a thing on TikTok that everybody's just so blown away by, and I'm like. Now be so for real now. Be so for real now because I know where y'all got that from. Because I, I had never seen nobody do no zigzag scissors before. And y'all tell me if y'all did. Because I didn't. I was like, now if somebody saw me do the zigzag scissors thing. And you know, started doing it. And then um, maybe did it in a video of theirs. And then, you know, the next person saw them do it. And then over the years, you know, now it's made its way to TikTok. And of course, everybody's not going to know oh, where it started at. But if, if whoever got the ball rolling over to TikTok got it from me and you didn't give me my credit, I'm a little mad about that. But I know that, you know, that's just how the social media thing works. People don't always give you credit for stuff. But I just be like, now come on now. Don't play with me like that. But like I said, I don't even know for sure if I necessarily started the zigzag scissors thing. But like I said, I looked it up myself to make sure before I got on here talking about, hey, zigzag scissors. Y'all ain't never seen this before. Before I just got on here like introducing it as if this has never been a thing. Because I looked it up. And nothing ever came up about people doing it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't gonna go too much into it. But yeah. So, let's try her on now. Because I'm probably not gonna do much to this, but flip it out. And it's good because I normally wear my hair in the middle part. I need to start switching it up. Because I know they say that you keep wearing your hair in the same part over and over. That you start balding in that area. Or your, your part starts spreading. Like, getting wider. I don't want that. But I love me a middle part. It works that this is a middle part 
T-part wig. I'm trying to get it on my head. I'm not gonna blame it on the wig though because I know my braid foundation up under here is a little jacked. Just kind of threw my hair up under this wig cap. Actually, it's kind of fitting though. I'm not sure if my braids were how I normally have them that this would have gone on easier but like i said my braids are literally just they're not even like straight backs they're not it's just thrown under here for real i'm just putting the combs in on the side so you don't slide back i don't think it's gonna come down all the way on the sides right here like y'all see because like i said my braids are a little messed up right there so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to fix that it really don't matter because all this hair is gonna be over it anyway. And the wig does come with little baby hairs. As y'all can see, I'm trying to pull them out. They're right there, all the way across. I'm probably not gonna use them because I'm just not a baby hairs type of person. Sometimes I like baby hairs. And when I do do baby hairs, I normally do them with curly units, but I don't know. I just feel like baby hairs can be cute, but I feel like no baby hair look just eats every time, you know? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the size too much. That's about as far as I can get it with these jacked up braids that I got, but like I said, it's fine. But the hair is gonna be covering it anyway, so cute. Okay, so let's see, fluff it out. Should we do a side part? That's kind of cute. Like cock it to the side a little bit. That hurts because I forgot I put this comb in. What the world? Is it supposed to be a side part? Is that why it's not covering right on my sides? Because I know the girl and the picture got it cocked to the side a little bit okay the side part is cute we could do that just a little side part okay so now i'm gonna fluff it out where's my pick i can't never find my stuff when i'm filming but any other day is right where i left it maybe it's in my purse because sometimes i keep my pick in my purse oh uh-huh in my purse so yeah i'm just gonna be picking this out so it doesn't look so Perfect and uniform. This is cute. I love this look. I love this. Love it. See, I tried to do a wash and go one time and it did not look like this. I'm gonna insert the picture of what my hair looked like after a wash and go. But also I attempted a wash and go just using mousse. Cause y'all know people was doing that on TikTok with just styling their hair with that. But some people would use more product than just the mousse. Other people was just using mousse. And I think that's where I messed up at is just using mousse. I probably should have used more product and it didn't turn out good. It didn't look like this. Actually, anytime I've done a wash and go, I never liked it. Like I hated it. That's why I always wear like braid outs and stuff. Cause my wash and goes don't be looking right. They don't be ready to go. I don't know, but I wish my wash and goes wash and go like this. Cause this is cute. I love big hair. I love like messy curls. Now this is cute. Period. Call me Diana Ross. That's what they should have named this wig. Who the heck is Game Changer? Should I like cut it a little bit? Like a little bit in the front? Just to give it a little more shape. Frame my face a little. That's kind of cute, right? I really could do a little curtain bang with it in the front like that. Or I could just move it all out the way and leave it like that. I think both ways are cute though. Mm -hmm. So only other thing I'm gonna do is put some concealer in the part. Okay, so I'm gonna move the hair out of the way, put the concealer in the part, and then <laughs> we'll be in. And then I'll give y'all my review. As always, I'm just taking a little thin brush to do this with. And boom, just like that, you were ready to walk out the house like it's nothing. But I think I'm gonna put the little hairs back. I like the little curtain bang look in the front right here. I'm gonna still leave the part right there though. But I like this little, I like that. So yeah, you could style this a number of different ways. You could cut it, frame your face, do the little curtain bangs. You could probably do a little space bun, middle part, side part. But this is cute though, I like this. I feel like this is really handy. This is a good one for my on the go convenience type of girls and ain't trying to spend too much money on a wig or to get your hair done. So yeah, I'm going to get dressed and then I will give y'all my review on this unit and we'll be done. All right y'all, so this is the finished look. 
so cute so now i'm gonna give y'all my review on this unit uh first things first you already know is she big hip friendly like i said i can't really say that because my braids are jacked up right now but i'm pretty sure because it's not bad like i got it pretty far up on my head with my jacked up braids but i feel like i wouldn't have any problems getting it on had my braids and my foundation been flat and how it's supposed to be but it's not so i'm not gonna blame that on the wig so i can't give y'all a full 100 percent answer on that but like i said that's what i feel like i feel like i wouldn't have any issues had my braids been flat and i did my straight backs how i normally do them so there's that two we'll do tangling obviously this is a kinky curly wig okay it's not meant to be able to comb through so this is not one of those wigs you don't comb through this you pick it and fluff it out but as far as me picking it and fluffing it out i didn't have any issues doing that i feel like it fluffed out very nicely i probably could have picked it a little bit more in these back sections that i can't see that well but yeah i feel like it did pretty good with the pick so i would say i have no issues there love the texture i feel like it's very suitable very fitting for me because like i said i have tight curls i am a type 4 girl and this is supposed to mimic a 4b to 4c type of curl pattern and i feel like they did that pretty well so i like that i feel like this is a very fitting wig for me and y'all know i love big hair and my natural hair is also pretty large so i feel like it works i love the color it's just a simple off black 1b y'all know just the regular i love the length on it i'm not sure what the length is said to be on packaging or the description on amazon or whatever so i can't really do like a length check i guess but i think it's a good length i think this is a good fro length you know i feel like the lace blends really well and i don't even have it installed but like where the lace is like right here I feel like it blends pretty well for me to not have glued it down or anything like that. The only thing I would say is I wish it was parting everywhere, but it's not that big of a deal because I mean, it's a fro. Like you're really not even gonna be able to see the part for real because the hair is so big. But that's the only thing about it. I'm not the biggest fan of T-parts because I like to be able to part in multiple places and I don't like that the lace only starts right here and you have like this much hairline in the front to work with. I feel like the hairline is also pretty dense in the front, but I don't think it would be possible to pluck it because it's so little space from the hairline to where the tracks start that it's like it's really nothing you can do about that as far as plucking it. So that's the only thing I would say about that. Those are my only two issues is it being a T-part. I wish you could part it everywhere it was just lace all over 13 by 4 lace something like that but it's not a deal breaker like it's not that big of a deal like i said it's not like you can be able to see the part for real nobody's really paying attention to that this is a fro so you know what i'm saying it's not that big of a deal but i would prefer that and also the hairline is a little dense but other than that i love it i feel like this is a really cute wig i feel like this is a really cute look on me i feel like the way i cut it looks good i love the little curtain bang look i love the way i fluffed it out i love just big voluminous hair i'm just i'm a fan I'm a fan. I'm understanding though that not everybody is a fan of big hair and that's okay. You keep your opinion to yourself. But over here, we do the big hair. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Honestly, I'm gonna give this wig an eight out of 10. Like I said, those are my only two issues was it being a T part and the hairline is a little thick, but it's not like you can see it anyway. So it's not like a deal breaker for me. So I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. We'll do a Keith Lee and give it an 8.5. But if you were one of those people that wanna like wear your froze like kind of slick back with like the edges styled, then that might be an issue for you but i don't plan to have the hairline showing anyway but just in case you wanted to have that option then i feel like the hairline should be a little less dense than it is just in case you want to wear it like kind of comb back with like some edge control or something like that yeah so i'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 i really love it though like these sensational wigs are eating and this eats like this fro eats they really haven't missed yet i only had two things that i didn't like about this wig and it's nothing that's like a deal breaker that's three in a row for these sensational wigs all three that i've tried so far i've loved and i haven't had any issues with i will say with that last one because i reviewed that last one but it wasn't i hadn't been wearing it like often or anything like that when i reviewed that wig i will say because i have been wearing that wig almost every day since my last video that it does have a little bit of tangling to it it does tangle and you know synthetic wigs tangle after a while anyway but that one like really tangles up but i also saw this girl on tiktok use the unbrush on her synthetic wigs and she said it brush it right out so i might have to get me one of those i know the unbrush is supposed to be really good with detangling hair and not snagging your hair that was some good marketing right there when she showed that it just brushed right through a synthetic wig that was like completely tangled up so it's fixable but i just want to throw that in there in case you did see the last video i want to give y'all a little update on that i'll probably update it in the comments too and pin the comment on that video as well just to let y'all know that because i have been wearing that wig every day since that video and that's the only issue i've had out of it but yeah still though i'm loving these sensational wigs i'm ready for another one who's next but yeah y'all that is it let me know if y'all liking the way that i'm doing these um cheap amazon wig reviews the way i'm doing it with just one wig at a time or did y'all like the videos where i was doing three wigs in one video did y'all like that better or do y'all like me doing one at a time better and like 
installing them and styling them how I would, you know, if I were to wear them. Which one do y'all like better? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, that is all that I have for y'all. Give me some video suggestions below or give me some wig suggestions below, some cheap wigs, some sensational wigs, or any video suggestions, period. Doesn't have to be hair related, doesn't have to be wig related. Whatever y'all wanna see, let me know. As always, if you wanna purchase this wig, the link will be in the description box down below. I am a part of the Amazon Influencer Program, so links that I do list, I, I put it in the description box in parentheses anyway, but I do earn commission off of those links. And also I have my storefront linked for any other products that y'all may wanna shop that I have reviewed or used before that I may not have necessarily mentioned in the video or on my platform. It's just products that I like. My Amazon storefront is down below as well. But also the links that I share, like the individual links of products, like direct links to wigs, I do earn commission off of those as well. So just so y'all are aware of that, if you use those links, I do earn money. So if you are against that in any type of way or whatever reason you have against me earning any money off those links, you don't have to click them. If you don't want to, you can just search the sensational game changer wig on Amazon. It'll come up, but my link is also below as well. And I appreciate the support if you do choose to click it and give me my coins. So by the way, this top is from Pretty Little Thing. I did a haul that included this top. So y'all go watch that for all the other pieces that I got. But this was also a part of that haul. So if you want the link, go over there. It's just a button down top. I have it tied up in the front. I wore this in Jamaica. Y'all probably saw the pictures on Instagram if you follow me, but I use it as a cover up. But in case you were wondering, that's where it's from. Whew, I feel like I've been talking a lot. That is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.